I have legitimately been trying to make this video for like two years now. I started scripting this before the first lockdown and the pandemic, and I'm only just getting around to it because I've just realized how good of a film Jurassic Park 2 is. So, please put put down the weapon please don't hurt me as we try and discuss why i think jurassic park 2 might be better than jurassic park no put, no no put that no 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 right yes thank you put down the, that's easy easy now put down the yeah yes good right so jurassic park 2 is not a perfect film by any uh, amount of the imagination but it is a secret masterpiece and a perfect Jurassic Park sequel. That's that's what I'm going to talk about today. Jurassic Park 2 is a wonderful film. It is both hilarious and, like, on a filmmaking scale, quite masterful. And the main thing that I love about this is the fact that it understands that it is a Jurassic Park sequel and that it understands what world Jurassic Park set up and it plays with the, the lore and the ideas that the first one sort of set up. Jurassic Park 2 actually explores what the lawyer in the first one was talking about. The lawyer goes in the first film that we're gonna make a fortune with this place. And that's what Jurassic Park 2 sort of explores. So InGen are trying to get the dinosaurs off the uh, different island actually this time and sell them to the people on the mainland for huge amounts of money. Doing this whilst also injuring all the dinosaurs, hurting them, taking them from their habitats, and just being bad people, really. They, of course, try to make money out of this dire situation, which, when you also think about it, is kind of a very relevant thing that happens in our world. So that's it's got that going for it, I guess. That's why this film is genius, because this would actually happen in the world of Jurassic Park, when you think about the other sequels, which I do like, Jurassic Park 3 is, it's a fun film, and it's got some quite good horror tropes in it, um, and I have a soft spot for Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World 2 is, we, I don't really want to talk about that film, but a Jurassic Park 2 will always be my favourite sequel, and, or, like, maybe my favourite Jurassic Park movie, because the other sequels don't make sense. Jurassic Park 3 drags Alan Grant back to the island for no good reason except from money, and I don't think that's what that character would do, and that's why I, I just don't, like, I don't think it would happen. It doesn't make sense in the world of Jurassic Park. Same as Jurassic World. I don't think Jurassic World makes sense, because in that world of like jurassic park i'm saying world way too much here like they would not the governments would not allow somebody to set up another jurassic park because so many people died and here's the thing that this got me thinking about is how much does believability and not so much accuracy but the fact that if we believe that this would happen in this world how much does that input to our enjoyment how much does it involve us in the storytelling in the world and i think quite a lot because i'm sat through jurassic park 2 thinking that this film is great and all of these story beats and all of the things that happen in this film would happen and i love it like i love world building it's one of my favorite things in my own writing and watching other people's work is that i love the world and if i can engross myself and believe in what's happening then I'm having a wonderful time. I don't know if any of what I just said actually made sense, but what I'm trying to say is the, the TLDR of this is that the events of this film make an actually quite relevant commentary on the world today and also just play with the world in like a great way and explore things that we want to know about the Jurassic Park sort of universe that make it an enjoyable and great experience along with some other things that I'm going to talk about now. I think Jurassic Park 2 has some of Spielberg's best direction and like cinematography and just ideas that he's explored. I think Jurassic Park 1 was just a warm-up because Jurassic Park 2 is more sophisticated in the way that it's shot, in the way that it does its, its terrifying and horror moments. Because in the first, we see a lot of the dinosaurs. The way the first one does its horror and its action scenes is that we full on see the dinosaurs and like it is scary and it is great and entertaining and it like it, it sets up the dinosaurs to be so scary. But in the second one, 
he sort of pulls back a little bit. He does like a Jaws and we don't see the dinosaurs and we don't see people getting mauled and killed. What we do see, and there's two key scenes that I really did like, is that we see somebody's blood trickling in the water. It's, well, it's show, don't tell. It's, we know that the person has died, but we just see, we just see the blood going through the water and we hear the screams. We don't have to see it. And it, it's, 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 it's beautiful in a way and it's chilling. And then the other scene, the, the bigger set piece action scene of this film is when uh, they're, they're trying to get from sort of their outpost to the, uh, the communications tower. And they have to like go through the forest and they come to a field with long grass roots. And they're walking along and then little by little people get pulled down into the grass by um, sort of like, was it? Are they like velociraptors or are they like compies or something? Um, and slowly, one by one, and then they start running, and then the and then the grass is rustling, and it's it's scary. I would be terrified in that situation, and everyone just does some amazing performances, and I really do love it. I love that kind of thing. Um, I just think it's better than like the kitchen scene in Jurassic Park One which is probably a terrible opinion to have. Spielberg in the second one seemed to learn from the first that he could use the location to add suspense and action. Because yes, the island does play a specific part in uh, the first film. You know, you've got the storms and you've got the power outages and things. But the second one plays with the fact that they're in a forest in this isolated location. Um, and we like he uses it to sort of shadow the dinosaurs um, and make it more scary so I feel like just the second one just learns a lot from the first and it is better for that reason again probably a terrible opinion to have and speaking of the performances the cast is so good Jeff Goldblum as the lead in a Jurassic Park film is all I wanted I don't know how I hadn't thought of this before but Jeff Goldblum playing Ian Malcolm and leading a film as Ian Malcolm the rock star doctor uh is just hilarious and like makes the film so good and everyone else in this film has got like julianne moore in it and it's got robert schiff from the west wing every now and then i just get jump scared with a west wing actor now that is my favorite show ever i do love it when they just start showing up in uh different films it's so cool and and, and it's even got um vince vaughn in it as well and he plays a a, a good sort of side character the film's great and if you've watched any of my videos before you'll know that i do love uh, pacing in films. I think pacing is one of the most useful and uh, sort of key things that you can do in a story to make it uh, an improved experience. And the pacing of this film is great. Like, it starts off with uh, setting up the island and then we match cut, which is a great cut by the way, uh, to Jeff Goldblum. He finds out about the island, bam, we're on the island, we're having fun, and then we're off the island, the film's done, and it's a great time. Like, I am loving shorter, faster paced films recently. Not too fast, like I don't want it at like breakneck speed, but just well paced, fun films that don't waste too much time getting us to places. It's a really fun time. I mean, Jurassic Park 1 is also an excellently paced film as well. In fact, that is one thing that Jurassic Park 1 does better than Jurassic Park 2 is it does take more time to talk with the characters and find out more about them. But. That doesn't mean Jurassic Park 2 is not good. Oh, and like, I'm not going to talk about the comedy specifically because I, I can't write comedy and know nothing about it. But this film has one of the greatest jokes I, I love in film. And it's when um, Vince, they get on the island and they're looking for Jeff Goldblum's girlfriend, Julianne Moore. Um, and they get on it, get on the island, and they're like, Sarah, Sarah Harding. Um, and Jeff Goldblum's like, how many Sarahs do you think are on this island? And it's... It makes me, like, chuckle every time, and I love it. Okay, so look, I I'm glad we've had this one-to-one -one chat of why I think Jurassic Park 2 is great, and I hope you've, you've come around to my seeing. Uh, go watch it. It's a great film. It looks great. It's hilarious. Um, and then tell me what you think. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, comment down below if you do go see it, if you have seen it, if you've always, like, loved Jurassic Park 2. And also, I want to say thank you so much. My last videos hit, like, 200 plus views, which, like, 
never happens. So thank you so much. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, welcome on board to whatever the hell this is. Uh, thank you so much for all the love. Um, you are all amazing. Uh, please like and subscribe. And can you do me one more thing? Can you have a great day? Thank you.